Praise the Lord. Uh, today I have a prophetic word uh, for the nation of Israel. Last week while we were in our uh, prayer meeting on Wednesday night, uh, while we were praying uh, for the nation of Israel, uh, the Lord uh, gave me a word uh, for the nation of Israel. Now, I've made it um, in such a way that uh, this word is going to be exactly as the Lord spoke it. Uh, and it was about uh, the leadership crisis and what is going on there right now. So, this is what the Lord spoke. These are the words of the Lord uh, for the nation of Israel. Israel, my law and my words are established forever before me. My covenants are everlasting. Your leaders have lost vision and they ignore my plans. You embrace evil on your streets and celebrate it. But I'm doing a new thing, Israel, and it will affect your leadership. For now, you have no leaders, but shortly you will have your leaders back. David was not perfect. His moral disposition was questionable. Yet I chose him to sit on a throne. I called him a man after my own heart. Why do you fight my choice? Israel. The Lord says, Netanyahu will remain in office. Leaders will soften their hardened hearts and they will shake hands for peace. You will watch it on your TV stations. They will shake hands and work together for the good of the people. I will soften their hearts. They will put the nation above their personal interests and they will get rid of grudges. But there is a change that will affect the office of the president because I'm doing a new thing. See your leaders shaking hands and smiling and signing papers. I will soften their hearts and they will be united in purpose. Both Netanyahu and Benny Gates will shake hands and work together. Then I'll begin to unfold a new plan for you, Israel. You will become the envy of the nations. Your wealth now will abound everywhere, but your heart must turn from your idols to heed and worship only the one true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Galilee will thrive with richness from beneath the ground. Jordan and your neighbors will be envious. They will seek to borrow from thee. I do a new thing, says the Lord. That is the word of the Lord for the nation of Israel. Shalom.